coverage of girls high school basketball. It's the final week of the regular season and the final divisional game of the year as the Cardinals host the Andover Huskies. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines, and Howie, the Cardinals really hoping to have a strong finish to the regular season schedule, go in strong to the playoffs. Yeah, they come in with a 12-12 and -12 record, and they've played well this season, especially as of late. This is an Andover team that they played earlier in the season. They beat them handily at their, at their place. I think it's an opportunity for them to get their record above 500 as long as they play their game, as long as they don't look past this Andover squad. Yeah, and it's a team that they very well could see in the first round of the section tournament again right away next week. So they want to make sure that they come out and play a good, strong game and don't give Andover any hope going into a possible playoff matchup. But the Huskies come in, they won four straight games before losing their last outing against Champlain Park. So they're looking as well to have a strong finish to their season. Yeah, we talked to their coach uh, before the game, and he's really happy with the, pro the progress of this team, especially this time of year. And this squad, uh, they've got a couple of players that average in double, di uh, double digits. Lizzie Carp is a starter for this squad, averages a little over 10 points a game. They're going to look to her for some production, and they're going to need it tonight. Well, and both of these teams come in three and eight in the division. One of the, them is going to finish up in front of the other and tied with Elk River for fourth place in the divisional standings. Both teams obviously wanting that to be them. For the Cardinals, they know that their inside game is a big part of what they are and what the other team will look to shut down. And that means it's more important for their guard play to come to play tonight. Well, Coach Pierce said we need better shooting, and then that's what uh, Courtney, Anders, Courtney uh, Ackerman hopes to bring to this squad tonight. She's averaging a little over six points a game. They're looking for a little more offensive output from her tonight, and if they're going to get past this Husky squad. Well, and again, they, they've got two home games to finish the regular season schedule. Tonight they host Andover. On Thursday night they have uh, Titino, or Friday night rather, they have Titino Grace coming in. They want to finish strong, head into the playoffs that way. And it's a big night. It's parents' night at the Roger E. Carlson Field. Also, all the moms and dads uh, getting the recognition before the game. They want to set them home with something a little more exciting than a rose and a, and a bottle of dad's root beer. They want to send them home with a win. The Cardinals and the Huskies take the court next on CTN. I was physically at school, but my mind wasn't at school. I had problems at home. That's when I met Narnice. She started helping me a little bit like me. I don't know what you're doing, but your future is more important. She's my strength. It takes a village to help somebody get their diploma. It changes your whole life. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Back at the barn, ready to get this one underway. Cardinals and the Huskies, there you see the overall records definitely favoring the Cardinals, but the divisional records both at three and eight and a couple of very tough teams in this uh, division that they get to, they have they have to face twice a year. Correct. But, uh, you know, like we, like we talked about, one of them is gonna finish at four and eight, even with Elk River, one of them is gonna fall to three and nine. There's a look at your starting lineups for the Huskies, Alexa Garcia and Emily Deemer in the backcourt, Liz Donner and Allison Cole are the forwards, Lizzie Garp in the middle, and she's, a. Uh, Pretty close to the same size as Ellie Carver, yep. both about 6'3". Uh, Lainey Hanneman up front for the Cardinals, along with Carver, Brooklyn Dixon, and Courtney and Caitlin Ackerman in the backcourt. And Carp able to win the opening tip. Caitlin giving chase and really pressuring all the way down to the corner, but out of bounds, and it'll be Andover basketball. Okay, you know, the Cardinals are going to pressure early, obviously. They they want their defense to, to really set the pace, set the tone here this evening. And we'll watch as this game unfolds if they can do that. Well, they will have the opening possession, and they'll move it around right side for Garcia. Back around to the left side. Deemer up top. Garcia thought about the shot, now puts it down and takes it left side of the lane. Now back up top for Carp. And actually, Andover's leading scorer is going to be coming off the bench. Yeah, Sid White, she's averaging 11 points per contest. It's always nice to get a, get a player off your bench that's, uh, that's scoring 11 points and actually leading your squad. 
Andover not uh, being real aggressive, just waiting, looking for an opening and making sure they get a good shot. Make that Cardinal defense move. Cardinal starting with man defense, tried to get into Carp, poked away by Carver, but recovered by Donner. Right side, Garcia up top for Carp. Donner on the left side now. Caitlin Ackerman out to defend. Turnaround jump shot by Cole is off the mark. Dickin, uh, Dixon has the rebound, and the Cardinals push it up court. It'll be an interesting battle in the middle between Carp and, and Carver here tonight. As you mentioned, both, uh, both young ladies about the same size. Three-pointer for Dixon is short, rebound, and the foul very early on Laney Hanneman as Allison Cole had position. Yeah, Laney Laney's one of those players that uh, the Cards are going to need some production from here as well tonight. You know, they're two big players underneath with Hanneman and Carver. They're going to look for some production. Well, especially with Andover, one of their keys to the game is to try and shut down Carver. Yep. And uh, the increased focus on number 35 on the offensive end may give Hanneman a little more opportunity. And they also want to win the rebound battle, and they're look, looking to do that, and then limit their turnovers, which, of course, uh, the Coach Belcher said they've, they've given up too much, uh, too much in the way of turnovers here in the last number of games. But Driving is Temmer, moves it back out. Stepping in is Carp, an open look in the lane, and she scores. Uh, she's going to get her points. She's going to get them underneath, and we just want to limit her, limit what she does. And not give her an open look, correct, down the lane. But the uh, very patient handover offense, I mean, they, their first possession, they were, took almost a minute before they put a shot up. Kick to the corner. Dixon wants another three-point attempt. This one won't go either. Garcia, the rebound underneath. She'll slow down and now move it ahead to Cole. Into the post and back to the corner. Deemer thought about the shot and now instead gets it up to Garcia. Yeah, they took off a min almost a minute off the clock on their opening possession. That pass off the mark just out of the reach of Cole and it's hurt over. A good save by Dave Emmy. He's always on the spot. Emmy's got crazy good hands. He, he does. Here's he a does. look at Coach Rob Belchner. Dixon, pull up jumper from 15. That won't fall either. Rebound out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cardinals. Hanneman trying to track that ball down. Fortunately, uh, it went off the Huskies for them to retain possession. There's head coach Deb Peterson. And, you know, we talked to her before the game. It's shooting percentage against Maple Grove. They uh, they spotted them 20 points, and their shooting was just not on par what they needed. Turnover, Coon Rapids. Five-second violation. Cardinals not able to get the ball inbounded. And that's frustrating for Coach Peterson. And give credit to Andover doing a good job of limiting him and not letting him get that ball in. Huskies go back to the perimeter, and gonna Ackerman going to be yep. called for the foul. That'll be uh, Caitlin's first, team second. Had a hand in as the pass came to Allison Cole. Donner inbounds, Garcia for three over the basket. Dixon had the rebound. She's bumped there by Deemer, and Deemer will get the first for foul for Andover. And she was actually, Deemer was actually <laughs> kind of pushed into Dixon by Kaylin Ackerman, but she's the one that's gonna pick up the infraction. And not, not a purposeful push, just coming back off that, uh, going for that loose basketball. Dixon kicks it out, Courtney will hand it off. Carver into the corner. Dixon for three, that's short, rebound. Hanneman able to kick it out to Courtney. Here's Caitlin Ackerman. Pumps, now crosses out. Dixon, another three. She finally hit it. Oh, you get enough opportunities at it, uh, and fortunately that one went down for <laughs> Brooklyn. I think that was her at least her fourth opportunity yeah. from beyond the arc. And it puts Goon Rapids in front. 
Still very early in this contest, obviously. But could be a very low scoring affair with how we've started. A little right. more than four minutes into the game. And Andover again, just really patient on offense, moving the ball. Get an opportunity down low that won't go, but Garcia there to clean up the glass. Uh, it's just good offense by uh, Andover in the miss. You make sure you're in the right position to get that rebound and put the ball back in. Caitlin Ackerman driving, gets the oh. bucket and the foul. It's going to be called on Carp. She's, she's such a good athlete and able to keep her body control. You're going to see her able to pull a little away a little bit, but enough body control to put that basket in. Can't get the extra one to fall. And Andover able to control the rebound. Garcia into the front court, met by Courtney Ackerman, right side for Cole. Garcia on the left wing. Up top, Donner, right side for Deemer. Karp pass too tall for Cole, and another turnover by the Huskies, and they're gonna send in some subs. Well, and you know, and, and that's what uh, we talked about, Coach Belcher, the keys to the to the game is limiting turnovers. And you know, you've, uh, you're keeping, obviously it's 5-4 Lee Coon Rapids, but you can't afford to turn the ball over too many times against the Cardinals. Dixon drives, kicks to Carver for the jump shot, and that's good. Carver had 21 points the last time these two teams played. You know, that's why one of those keys from Coach Belchner was uh, we have to keep her in check. Three second violation called before the pass. Mackenzie Mackey fresh on the floor for Andover. Destiny Cummings and Sydney White also into the game for Andover. Sydney White, uh, number 34, keep an eye on her. We talked about her, the uh, leading scorer for this Husky squad. And she's out to defend against Brooklyn Dixon. Destiny Artis getting her first minutes for the Cardinals. Tried to get it inside to Carver, batted away out of bounds by Carp. Courtney inbounds. Dixon will drive to the paint, pull up, fade away, won't fall. Rebound deflected and now controlled by Cummings. Cummings will slow it down for Andover into the corner. White inside to Karp. That shot won't go. Caitlin Ackerman the rebound off the backside and quickly to the other end. And she drew the foul before the shot. Well, that, uh, Lexi West is going to check in for the Cardinals. Laney Hanneman checking back in as well. Mackenzie Mackey charged with the foul for Andover. Her first team fifth. Joe early on. Couple more uh, fouls in the. I'm sorry, team third. I was looking at timeouts. And the main oh, turnaround jumper is good. Cardinals lead by five. They've scored the last six points. White on the left side. High post. Mackey gets it back across for Deemer and now back for White. Jump shot from 15 is good for Carp. Well, Carp does a nice job of stepping out and hitting that, that soft little jumper. 9 6 in favor of the Cardinals. You saw, we saw her inside game, now you saw her outside game. Ackerman working against Deemer. Spins toward the lane. Jump shot for Artis is off the iron and controlled by Cummings. Left side, Deemer had to come back to it. Good quick passing, a little tip there from Karp right to Cummings for the basket and it's a one point game. Yeah, smiling over the bench, she gets the assist on that. Wasn't really the plan, but No, it but she'll take it. Courtney driving, kicks it back out, out of the reach of West. And a turnover back to Andover. Carver and Brooklyn Dixon will check back in for the Cardinals. And the Ackermans will take a seat on the bench. Pass 
Pass deflected out of bounds by Artis, so Andover will get another chance to set up. White to Deemer on the left side. Back up top, White, Carp in the post. Kicks it back out and now gets it right back. Spins to her left, draws the foul. We'll go to the line to shoot two. See it again, that's uh, Carver's first team, third. Both teams with three infractions so far. Emily Schildauer checking in for Andover. It looks like Allison Cole set to come back in as well. Second shot is short for Karp, so we're tied at nine. As we approach 10 minutes remaining in the first half, Artis to Caitlin Ackerman. 17-footer wouldn't go, and a second foul quickly on Carver. Yeah, and you heard a, yeah, you heard a scream of glee from Carp as she's, uh, she gets that second foul on Ellie Carver. Dixon almost had the steal, but the Huskies able to retain possession. White got a little screen, gets it back to Cole up top, back to White. Mackey puts it on the floor, working against Artis. Crosses over with Cummings, here's White. Cole and now Schildauer and Mackey driving, blocked by Hanneman, recovered by Carver. And the Cardinals will push the pace. Dixon slows it down. Carver for three from the top of the key. That's off the rim and out of bounds. And a timeout to Rapids. Well, Carver had that open look. I'm not sure that uh, her coach wanted her to take that shot. But nonetheless, uh, Coach Peterson is going to call a timeout with 9.13 remaining in this opening half. Talk about things. Carlin's had a slight lead, but Andover able to even it up at nine. Talking to Coach Peterson, we, I said, what, what are the things you guys need to do to win? And he said, we, we have to hit shots, and it's clear as simple as that. We haven't been able to get the kind of percentages that I that she wanted to see from her squad. And similar to to uh, Andover, they want to win the rebounding battle to limit their turnovers. I think it's pretty clear cut what they want to do here tonight to try and get their 13th win of the season. Score more points yes. than the other team. That's a, you know, that's a winning formula if you can do that. Coaches love that when their team score more points than their opponent. It, in just about every sport, that's uh, the way we're going. Except golf. Except for golf. Hanneman got the block and good hustle by Artis to get the ball back for the Cardinals. Dixon can't get it to fall. Rebound out of bounds off of off of Andover. So that went off of ball. Carver, but I thought so as well. But the Cardinals will take it. See it again. Second block already oh, early on for Laney Hanneman. Three-pointer for Cole, won't go at the other end. Hanneman a rebound. Pass goes to Carver, she pivots inside and scores. A nice job by Caitlin Ackerman finding her underneath and just that quick little touch pass. Three-pointer will rattle around and down for Mackenzie Mackey and a lead for Andover the first time tonight. I take that back, they were up 4-3 and 2-0. So it's the third time. Who's counting? Oh, I am. <laughs> and again, another miss by uh, Dixon from outside the arc. Low scoring contest, we're under eight minutes left. Long three-pointer, this time it's short, but hustling back to gain, regain possession is Destiny Cummings. She'll take the three, that's way off the mark and right into the bread basket of Caitlin Ackerman, but then the pass taken away by Cummings. Cummings bumped by Artis, 
before the shot. Nice block on the continuation by Caitlin Ackerman. But well, that, that was a really smart play by Cummings. She just read that pass from Artis the entire time. And just jumped in front of Brooklyn Dixon to, to steal it. Near wholesale change for Andover as they send four fresh players on the floor, all actually returning to the game. They go to Carp in the low post. She turns and scores, and it's a three-point lead for Andover. Hanneman hands off to Courtney Ackerman, Caitlin to the high post for Carver, back out to Destiny Artis. Now here's Courtney lost the handle, but no pressure as she's able to recover it. Coming out to guard is Emily Deemer. She'll spin, get toward the paint. Carver travel. travel. Just a, a, a lot of sloppy little things early on for Coon Rapids turnovers that typically are, are easily avoidable, yes. especially this late in the season. But we talked about it in the open, you know, Coach Peterson really wanted to come out and put the hammer down against Andover uh, and, you know, so that if this is the matchup they see in the first round of the playoffs, that it is, you know, Andover is not uh, believing they have much opportunity. Laney Hanneman called for the reach in. So that's her second team, sixth, and, you know, now that's two on her and, and two on Carver. Certainly, Coach Peterson's won. Either one of them get their third before the end of the half. Carp able to get the roll. Yeah. And she's she's been she's winning the battle between the, the two big players so far, between her and Carver. She has nine. Seven straight points for the Huskies. Have them in the lead, 15 to 11. Caitlin down low to Courtney. Nice little pump fake to clear some room, but the shot won't fall. And then Courtney able to get her own rebound back. Gets it to Caitlin. Caitlin can't get it to fall. Carver gets the rebound, the bucket, and the foul. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they needed. They, they needed something, that, that opportunity there. Again, you know, you get don't always get second and third opportunities, but if you do, you have to make them count. Nellie Carver did a nice job of making sure she cleaned up the, the glass and got the, and got the bucket an opportunity for a three-point play. She Kennedy Kerr on the floor for the Cardinals for the first time tonight. Carver can't cash in on the extra point opportunity either. Three point lead for the Huskies. They go back to Carp in the post and they'll keep going right at Carver with those two fouls. Cole an open look and she hits the jump shot back to a five point edge. And, you know, again, doing a nice job of moving inside and, and pushing it back out to the perimeter. Artis looks for room on the baseline, tries to split a couple of defenders and she traveled. Turnovers, again, so far the story of the first half for Coon Rapids. Too many of them. That and missed shots. And missed shots. Good anticipation, Caitlin Ackerman jumping the passing lane, getting the steal. Care can't finish at the other end. Garcia has the rebound. And that's gotta drive Coach Peterson just crazy. Well, as she was talking about all the shots they missed in that Maple Grove game, I was reminded of a game we did early on in the season where they had, they must have missed 20 shots right. inside of five feet. You know, they were getting to the, they were getting to the basket, they were just not able uh, to get it through the cylinder when they got there. And a little bit of that happening again here tonight. Caitlin Ackerman working against Deemer. Leaves it off for Caitlin. Caitlin drives, that won't go. Carver is able to clean it up. Again, Carver there dominant underneath making sure that she got the bucket once cleaning up that missed shot. Donner thought about the three, gave it up to Karp, got it back, and now Garcia on the left side. Up top, Deemer thought about the three, and now Donner on the right wing. Up top for Karp. 
Left side, Deemer trying to get around Courtney Ackerman, and Ackerman is going to foul. And it's a one and one opportunity now for Emily Deemer. Just over four minutes remaining in this first half. Kenzie Mackey will check back in for the Huskies. Chance for Deemer to push it back to a five-point edge. And she does, hitting both very cleanly. Courtney Ackerman spinning, kicks it out. Artis for three. That won't go. Karp has the rebound. And Andover back on the attack. Mackey to the baseline, kicks it back out. Carp to Deemer for three, that's good. Well, again, just a nice job of moving it in and moving it out. Getting back to the outside of the perimeter and hitting that three. Eight point lead for Andover. Artis blocked by Carp. Recovered by Mackey, Karp will slow it down, and now Garcia will bring it up court. Donner's pass batted right back to her. Garcia with it now. She'll put it on the floor, watched by Courtney Ackerman as she comes up top. Right side for Donner, and here's Karp. Down low, and Garcia scores inside. Got position, they got her the ball, and they have a 10-point lead. Yeah, a little, you know, is it surprising? We talked to Coach Belchner, and, you know, he said his squad is playing a lot better. The Andover Huskies were blown out by Coon Rapids in that first meeting earlier in this season. And uh, I believe they're playing like a different squad. Carver turns to her left, can't get the shot to go. Recovered by Kerr, in some trouble in traffic. Coughs it up, recovered by Deemer. And now Andover with the numbers down court. Garcia will take the three. And she's gonna get, oh, oh. I thought that roll was gonna go. Donner rips free the rebound. They send it around to Deemer and now Garcia. Under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Mackey to Garcia in the corner, a little pump fake, looking for room on the baseline, and double carried dribble. Push it, carried it. Nonetheless, a turnover by the Huskies, 10-point lead for them with a minute 45 remaining in the half. And, and the Cardinals need to turn them over. Yes, they do. The rest of the way if they want to try and close this gap before halftime. Dixon right side for Lexi West. Back to Dixon. Dixon getting around the screen. Pulls up, that shot is short. The rebound by Deemer. Karp with the left hand, can't get it to go. Mackey couldn't control, lost it out of bounds. And the Cardinals will have another chance. Dixon working left side. Final minute of the first half. It's Andover 25, Coon Rapids 15. Pass didn't get through. Broken up by Mackey, but she can't stay, keep from going out of bounds. Emily Schildhauer will check back in for Andover. Cole will check in as well. Got a, a little equipment adjustment. Is Making sure that shoe's tied. 
It's important. Yep. Inbound goes to Caitlin, back under to Carver. Had it ripped away, but out of bounds. It'll stay Cardinal ball. That time, uh, yeah, Carver, Carver just didn't get, gain possession of the basketball. And they're going to call and it. Carver's Carver. going to be called for the She's offense. She's frustrated. Trying to gain possession. You can see she was frustrated uh, on that last possession. And that's tough to have Carver it saddled is. with three fouls before the end of the first half. You can tell, yeah, obviously unhappy. And over a chance to add to their lead here before the break. Schildauer up top for Mackey. And now White. Schildauer right side, Mackey at the top of the key, trailed by West. And she is fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot a one and one. Or will that be number 10? That's team ninth. Ninth, okay. I don't think, I think Lexi thought she had all ball. Officials didn't think that. Misses the front end. Caitlin takes it on the run the other way and hits the short jumper. I think they needed that. Final 10 seconds. Huskies an opportunity to wait for the final shot. Down to five. Long three from White. That won't fall. Rebound to the floor. Tied up. Buzzer sounds. We'll go to the locker room with Andover leading by 8, 25-17. Take a break, get some coach reaction right after this. You're watching live girls high school basketball on CTF. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Hey yo, let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Back to Coon Rapids High School, where you're watching CTN's live presentation of girls' high school basketball. We're at the break, 25-17 lead for the Andover Huskies. I'm here with Coon Rapids Cardinals coach Deb Peterson. Deb, a couple of things we talked about: shot selection, hitting your shots, and turnovers. Your thoughts? Turnovers. I mean, we only have six, so like we're okay with that. But the whole making baskets thing is kind of a struggle for us. I mean, we held them to 25, which is great. Uh, we need to do a better job at offensive rebounding and finishing our putbacks. So what are you gonna, other than that, what do you all talk to the girls about at the break? We need to be a little bit more aggressive with our defense so that we can sneak some easy turnovers and then go get some easy buckets just to see the ball go through and then we just gotta keep fighting. Ellie a little frustrated at the end of that game picking up her third. Yep, that's it, yep. That's all you're gonna say. Good luck coach, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back to talk about first half stats and highlights right after this. I'm a single mother and I was the main one working, so I never thought that I could go back to school, you know? My sister, my mother, everybody wanted to help me with my kids. I could not have gone my diploma without my family. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Got a
Back at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, Andover up by 8, 25-17 as we reach the break. And you know, early on, it looked good for the Cardinals. They came out, they were doing what they wanted to do. Uh, Andover was uh, really patient their first couple of trips and uh, had a couple of turnovers, and the Cardinals uh, were able to, to get the fast start. They had the 9-4 lead, and then things kind of turned back in the favor of the visitors as they outscored the, the Cardinals 21 to six to uh, get up by 10 before the late jump shot by Caitlin Ackerman cut that lead. Uh, but still an eight point edge going to the half is exactly what uh, Andover was hoping for. Yeah, they were, and, and Coach Peterson, I think, get a little little frustrated at the fact that uh, they're down by eight points here at the break. And, and you know, she talked about the, the fact that we're just not getting our shots to fall. Only six turnovers, I thought it was a little bit more, but nonetheless, they don't want to turn the ball over, but I think frustrated with the fact that they're, they're taking a lot of shots, but they're not getting a lot of shots to drop. Lizzie Karp leading all scorers for Andover with nine points. Ellie Carver has eight for the Cardinals, so the battle of the bigs is uh, pretty even inside. A little more point production around the horn for the Huskies with six players scoring to the Cardinals, just have four girls uh, who have put it through the cylinder thus far. But we've got 18 more minutes of basketball to play. We will get some reaction from Coach Belschner before we get second half started, and that's coming up next on CTF. <laughs> so Maddie, congrats on paying off all those student loans. Finally, right? How'd you manage that anyway? I started tracking my spending, changed a couple of habits. Wow. I'm kind of living paycheck to paycheck right now. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm doing it. Well, have you tried saving a little? <laughs> I want to, but where's that money going to come from? <laughs> Bill collectors, they're the worst. Am I right? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Not home. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. I'm here with head coach Rob Belcher. Coach, you have to like what the girls did in the in that first half. Lizzie Carp did a nice job underneath, I thought, dominating as well. Yeah, she did a great job, and I think we're doing a good job being patient right now, uh, trying to get the shots that we want. And, um, you know, again, we need to kind of keep running our offense, looking for the shots we, we want without forcing things. With, a, with that eight-point lead, are there any changes that you anticipated talking to the girls about here at the break? No, I think we got to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, the challenge for our girls is we got to keep our intensity level up. Uh, we got to get more of these 50-50 loose ball type of things. Uh, Coon Rapids is physical and scrappy, so we got to elevate our game and do what we're doing. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. I'm going to throw it back up to my partner, Joe. Go, Joe. Take it away. Thank you, Howie. That was such a smooth, smooth transition. We are just about ready to get the second half underway. Coon Rapids will have the opening possession. And uh, keep doing what you're doing is the line from Coach Belschner and the Andover staff. Dixon comes out shooting a three. Missing Caitlin Ackerman has the rebound and the putback for the Cardinals to start. And that's the start they wanted, getting that first bucket here of the opening half. And after the miss by Dixon, Ackerman doing a nice job of just staying with it. And too many fouls. That was one uh, one thing that uh, you did not ask. And I didn't even really think about uh, asking Coach Peterson is, uh, you know, a little bit, a few too many fouls in the first half, uh, especially with uh, Ellie picking up that third. You did talk a little bit about that. But you know, certainly want to, uh, you know, she's out there to start, but she gets one more foul, and you got to imagine she's going to, be watching a fair amount of the second half from the bench. Well, and Andover, if they're smart, they go after her and they get her to pick up that fourth foul because that's one of their keys. They were concerned about her underneath. Donner looking for some help, gets it from Garcia all the way back out to your midcourt. Right side to Deemer, Cole to Donner for three, and she hit it. Well, and, that's a, and again, that's a big three for the Huskies. You know, after Coon Rapids scored that opening basket, they come back and get a three-pointer. Her first points of the contest, and it has Andover in front by nine. High post, Carver will put it on the floor. Can't get it to fall. Carp can't control the rebound, and the Cardinals will get another chance. Now for the Cardinals, number one, 
Destiny Artists uh, coming in here early here in the second half. Off the bench. Courtney inbounds to Caitlin Ackerman. Laney Hanneman up top. Underneath is Carver. She scores. And, and she has position. She can uh, she can be a nightmare for opposing defense. Well, and that's what the Cardinals are going to want to do. They're going to want to continue to push it inside. Hanneman got a hand in on the pass. Battle continues, but Garcia able to recover it and then poked away again by Hanneman and Garcia. Grabs hold of Courtney Ackerman and gets the foul. Yeah, and that's, that's really just a foolish foul on, on her behalf. She had clear possession of the basketball. And over takes an early timeout. Nobody in foul trouble for the Huskies. No. Well, and they yeah, did have they, three three early on, but they have uh, they were able to, to really weather that storm and, and not commit any other infractions, or many infractions the rest of the way. I think they've only had four in that first half. Right. So you got Carver with three and Hanneman with two for the Cardinals. Take us with you anywhere you want, anytime. Yep, Coach Peterson uh, last Saturday night was in Wisconsin. We were able to watch the boys game, so it's a great example. If you're not around and you can't make it here, you can watch it there. I watched Cardinal Wrestling from Breezy Point. I know you did. Back in early January. Yep. Coach Adams did a marvelous job at oh. Winstead. His, his knowledge of the sport is a little bit above mine. Uh, and, and way above mine. That was fun. Hanneman in the post quickly draws a double team out top to Courtney Ackerman and then to Artis down low and again. They, they move them around and they get Carver into position and once she's behind the defense and the Cardinals can get it to her, it's, uh, it's pretty simple for her. She's got a dozen. Three-pointer is wow. good at the other end for Garcia. Yeah, and as, as much as you, you make that inside game work when they're hitting their threes, it uh, puts you it puts you behind by a point every time she hits that. Artis dumping it off. Carver underneath again. And they have no answer for Ellie Carver at this point. Still a six point lead for Andover. Ackerman to Ackerman to Artis up front. Hanneman will step in. Jump shot is good. But you know, you're I'm watching the I'm watching the middle of that, and they're looking like they're they're drawing a defender over to, El, to Ellie, which leaves Hanneman open on the wing, and she made him pay. Going to the floor, tying up good hustle by Destiny Artis. Possession arrow will favor the Huskies, so they'll keep it, but. Good quick hands. Yeah, really good quick hand. Coach Peterson talked about it. they hoped that the, their defense would set the tone tonight, and, and that's some of the things that uh, she needs to see from her squad is good aggressive hustle on the defensive end. Downer trying to pass it inside. Cole fell down, and Hanneman gets the steal. Courtney Ackerman on the run, tried to thread the needle, and Cardinals turn it right back over. Well, I, I think she thought that uh, th that Caitlin was going to go to the corner, and Caitlin kind of stopped a little bit, and that pass obviously out of bounds. Full court pressure from Coon Rapids. Donner to Carp. She'll wait for help and leave it off for Emily Deemer. Right side for Garcia. High post. Carp over the top. Cole can't get up there for it. And the Cardinals will get it back on the turnover. A little more than four minutes into this second half. It's a four-point lead for Andover, so the Cardinals have been able to cut the deficit in half early on. Artis to Caitlin. Up top, Hanneman to Artis on the left side. Artis blocked by Karp, batted 
and Deemer will control. Oh, nice. Amy Hanneman with jumps the pass, gets the steal. Artis will take it and get the foul before the shot. Oh, Emily Deemer getting the foul. Her second, team second. Carver, a 17-footer, nothing but net, and it's a two-point game. Good pressure from Caitlin Ackerman. White lost the handle. Caitlin Ackerman gets the steal. We'll take it in, and we are all tied up at 31. Yeah, what a nice job by the Cardinals. Good pressure defense, good shooting. This time in the second half, they're getting their shots to fall. Another and another turnover. turnover. Oh, and another turnover. Final taken by Andover. Andover calling a timeout here, and, and you know, Coach uh, Belschner needed to, needs to calm his team down a little bit after an eight-point lead at the break, and they've given those, they've given that eight-point lead up. Well, 14 to six to start this second half through the first five minutes. And uh, the, car, the Huskies, rather, have gotten two three-pointers. But other than that, uh, last couple of trips down, turnovers. And again, they're, they're those avoidable mistakes yep. that uh, you hope not to be making at this point in the season. Of course, they get the one back right before the whistle there where uh, Tessany. of basketball, we, we'll see what uh, Coach dialed up here offensively for the Huskies. Cummings with it, will put it on the floor, into the post, Carp back out. And now up top, White puts it on the floor, Garcia in the corner, thought about this shot, will bring it up top instead. White to Carp, and now Cummings. Carp high post, turns and faces. Garcia will pump fake, poked away by Artis, recovered by Caitlin. And Caitlin will run the floor, get the foul. And this time, during the shot, she'll go to the line to shoot two. Again, look at the nice job poking the ball away by Destiny Artis. And Caitlin Ackerman gonna take it to the hoop. And yeah, hasn't factored into the, the scoring much, but a couple of really nice defensive plays for Destiny Artis in this second half already. Ackerman puts the Cardinals back in front. Misses the second one, the rebound by Carp. Mackey way too tall. I love the reaction she just Look at her face as soon as she <laughs> threw it and then she it just stayed on her face for a good five seconds. Like I can't believe I just oh whoops. Can't oops. Oops. Oh yeah. That was, oh well. That was that was on me. Sorry. That was yeah. That yeah was, oh you're yeah. oh you're not seven and a half feet tall? <laughs> Inbound, tipped away out by White. Sydney White has not factored into the no. scoring yet. 
Talked about her, you know, leading the team with 11 points per game. Inbound will go to Caitlin in the front court. She'll go to work against Alyssa Girth. Inside pass, Carver can't get it to go. And well, it was a good look inside by Courtney Ackerman to Carver that time. She just couldn't get it to drop. Three-pointer for Cummings way off the mark. A scramble on the floor. It is tied up in Cardinal Ball. Yeah. Courtney Ackerman slowly up court, met, met by White at the mid-court stripe. Nearly poked away by Mackey, and then Mackey comes up with a steal. White on the run. And she will get the foul on Hanneman, and that'll be three on her. So now the Cardinals, two bigs in, in a little bit of foul trouble with three each. That's the team's second. White rolls it across the top of the iron, but can't get it through the cylinder. Still an opportunity to tie the game here. Just under 11 minutes remaining. And she missed them both. Caitlin Ackerman with the rebound. Yeah, big free throws to miss at this point. Still plenty of time left, but you want to be able to hit uh, at least one of two. Into the corner to West, inside, and ball ripped away from Carver. Carver's asking how she, how there was no foul. Yeah. I thought that the last time she was inside. Yep. I did as well. A and lot again, of traffic under there, and they're putting two defenders on her. And there's Carp getting the reach in as Artis came around. Carp second team fourth. Inbound, poked away again by Girth. Here's Donner, and she traveled. Yeah, and that's unfortunate because a nice defensive play, looking to get to lead to points, and you turn the ball over. Yeah, Alyssa Girth didn't see any time in the first half. He's come in and played well. Just a freshman for the Huskies. Caitlin had it stripped, Ooh. and then Karp ran her over, and that'll be three on her. Yeah, she, she went to the floor hard as well. Well, not, certainly not intentional. No. But one, if there's one player on the wearing red that you don't want to get really fired up. That's it's her. number four. And, and she and we I've seen her fall a number of times. She's tough. Inbound goes to Carver. She spins and scores. She has 18. Three-pointer is good at the other end for Elizabeth Donner. And we're tied at 34. West looking for the answer. It's short. Actually Good position by Donner. Last three was by Sydney White. Her first points of the game. Big three for her. She wants another one, and she nailed it. That's two in a row. And you, you had mentioned she hadn't figured into the scoring and missed those two free throws, but a back-to-back -back threes. From the exact same spot. Ackerman is fouled. This is going to go against Girth. It's number six on Andover. Laney Hanneman and Courtney Ackerman back on the floor for the Cardinals. Trying to inbound to Hanneman, poked away out of bounds. Hey, 
Hanneman inbounds to Carver, out to Courtney. Across to Kerr in the corner. She wants three. That won't go out of bounds off the backside. Untouched, and it's handover ball. White right side for Mackey, back to White. Thought about the really long three. Instead, we'll dribble at Laney Hanneman, and Hanneman picks up number four. And that, that's uh, that's going to hurt them. I mean, she doesn't have offensively only four points, but you, you take some of that size now out of your lineup. Inbound, a little too tall for Emily Deemer, and they turn it back over. Dixon into the front court. Hands it off, here's Kerr. Back up top to Dixon, into the near side for Courtney Ackerman. Hands off for West, Kerr to Carver, and she's fouled, she'll go to the line and shoot two. Cole certainly outmatched. Yeah. It's a little bit of a mismatch, is, and, and Ellie was calling for the ball like, hey, <laughs> give it to I, me. Got, I got this. I've got this mismatch here down low. Yeah, big free throws here, too. Point number 19 for Ellie Carver. Oh, we talked about a 21 in the first meeting, already 19 here with six, uh, I'm sorry, eight and a quarter left. Back to a one point game. It's closer to eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight, eight, and a half. eight, eight, eight. There's only There's not 100 seconds in a minute. They're not? No. Not today. In my world, there is. No wonder you're always so late. I know. Right. <laughs> Three-pointer in and out for Deemer, and Mackey aggressively gets the board. Here's three-point attempt. Won't fall for Cole. Out of bounds, and it'll be an handover basketball. Lizzie Karp going to check back in. As well as uh, Caitlin Ackerman for Coon Rapids. Inbound goes to Donner, Deemer up top. White nearly had that pass get away from her, but controls. Carp to Deemer, to White on the left side. Steps inside, her jump shot won't fall. Kerr has the rebound and gets it ahead for Courtney Ackerman. Hands no, it off for Dixon. Carp had those nine points in the first half, has not scored here in the second. Dixon, open look for three, won't get it to fall. Carp tipped it, Caitlin has it to Courtney. Little jump shot is short, Caitlin is hammered. And uh, she'll get to the line for a one and one. And down to the floor hard again. White gonna be called for the foul. Cardinals go with a smaller, faster lineup as Carver checks out and replaced by Dixon. Caitlin able to rattle it around and gets a chance to put him in front. Timeout taken by the Cardinals. Carver's going to call a timeout here, tied at 37, 718 left, Joe Yund. They are checking out Twitter right now. Hey, look. Hey, look. Look at what CTN Coon Rapids put on Twitter. Let's check out YouTube. Hey, hey TV. look at that. Tweet, 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 tweet. Think they're, they think they're uh, checking it out right now? I do. I, be I believe it. Hey, hey, look at this. Uh, CTN has a Twitter page. Wow. 
just made my night. That'll put a smile on anybody's face. That's right. She, really? Wow. Wish we knew that earlier in the year. <laughs> they were having fun. She's going to be a basketball player right there, I can yep. tell. She was out on the floor having some fun at halftime. Dad was getting run by the older girls, but she was holding her own. 37 all, 7.18 to play. Another free throw for Caitlin Ackerman. And she puts the Cardinals back in front. Will lead us to a fun finish. Cole in the corner, up top for Girth. Cummings turns and looks. Deemer on the right side. Back to Girth. Cummings. Ackerman uh, trying hard against to, to deny a pass into Carp, and she's called for the foul. Her second. Team fourth. Carver back in for the Cardinals. Inbound goes to Cole, back to Carp in the post. That was deflected by Carver, and the Cardinals on the run. Artist cross court, little pump fake. Caitlin goes to the lane, gets the foul, will go to the line and shoot two. Carp picks up number four. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big infraction on Carp. We'll see with uh, Coach Belschner going to get her out of the lineup. <laughs> I love, love, uh, what? Oh, come on. That? Wait, how was that a foul? Just hit her a little bit. I touched her, just tapped her. Well, it, very rarely do you, do you, do you get, yep, that was me. I got, I got that. <laughs> I know. Every sport, it's it's the same. What? Couldn't have been. Cardinals have scored the last six points in the ball game, all from the free throw line, and they lead 40 to 37. Girth with it, right side. Cole up top. Carp back to the bench with those four fouls. Cummings trying to get between a couple of defenders, both with the last name of Ackerman. One of them guilty of the foul. It's going to go against Courtney. That's her second, team fifth. But yeah, she's trying to split those, uh, those defenders. A big free throws here for the Huskies. It's the first point they've had in the second half from inside the three-point line. Second one is in and out. Caitlin Ackerman, the rebound, fights her way past Cole. And we'll get into the front court. Left side for Brooklyn Dixon. Destiny Artis now. Bounce pass to Carver, got through, and she scores. 22 on the game. Yeah, I mean, again, it's like like she turned to switch a little bit in that in that from that first half. She had, I believe she had eight in the first half. She did. Well, they, the Cardinals have just done a better job of getting it to her inside. A big three-pointer right there from Cole. Makes it a one-point game. Five three-pointers in this second half for Andover. They were up by eight at the break, and they trail now by one. Artis lost it. That one's uh, out off of Cummings. Coach Belcher thought that was a, a kick. Well, he was asking if it was a kick, and it was a yeah. she kicked it, but it just went off her foot. Right. And it's what the referee said. Either way, last touched by the white team. Correct. 
as we are down inside the final five minutes. It's a one-point game with Coon Rapids holding the 42-41 edge. Courtney tried to get it underneath to Carver, drew the defense, and then pass just didn't quite click. Uh, certainly is anyone's ball game at this point. Just a one-point lead for Coon Rapids. Cole back to Deemer. Cummings on the left side. Up top, Mackey to Girth. Cole, Cummings, Mackey. Girth. And again, Andover being patient. Looking for something to open up, and well, oh, good save there by Deemer. Cummings pressured by Dixon. Got away from the pressure, and a foul is going to be called against Courtney Ackerman. That'll be her third, and it'll put Cummings at the line to shoot two. Yeah, again, just uh, looking that she had that open lane and path to the basket. Made sure she took tried to take advantage of it. First one is short. Still an opportunity to tie the ball game. And she's able to do so. Forty-two all with just over four minutes remaining. Three-pointer won't go for Artis. Long rebound by Mackey. Tipped away, and that one's going a long way. Destiny Artis, good recovery <laughs> defensively. Oh, Mackey looked like she wanted to take that to, that to the hoop, but a couple of Cardinal defenders there, and then, of course, this in the air is coming, poking it away. Three pointer is off the mark, tracked down in the corner by Girth. Up top, Cummings. Three pointer for Cole. This one won't go. And a foul is going to be called underneath. This one's going to go against Girth. Yeah, they could have called an offensive uh, off offensive foul on Cummings or two. Well, I, and Andover very physical and, and very aggressive. Um, and they've been uh, been using the body a lot. The last Cardinal possession, I mean, Ellie was getting bumped all over the place and, and moved out of the lane. Uh, you know, it's uh, interesting what they call and what they don't, but Cardinals in the double bonus now, so a two-shot foul. And Dixon hits the first. Carp will check back in with those four fouls. At this point with 341, they, they need her in there. She's yet to score a point here in the second half. Well, again, outside of the two free throws hit by Cummings, they, they've scored five three-pointers, and that's uh, their total offense. Dixon only able to hit one of two. But a one-point lead with three and a half to play. Carver bats it away. Artis recovers it, and Carp nearly reached in right there. In it goes. How do you not call wow. that? That's uh, White scoring at the other end. I, I yeah, just, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't get it either. But I mean, she I mean, went they've to been, the floor. Yeah. Uh, that was that was kind of a mugging there. Another turnover as Carp got a hand in on the pass and Andover has the ball and the one point lead here. Under three minutes to go. Garcia at the top of the key, now right side for White. I mean, that should have been the end of her night. Well, that should have been. I mean, and, and I don't understand how you argue. Well, I, I, don't, I don't understand how you reason that it wasn't. Pass tipped and taken away by the Cardinals. Oh, 
Dump it underneath to Carver. She's bumped. She'll go to the line to shoot two. White picking up the foul. I mean, I, I know I'm no, well, no. genius, but, but if you have your well, hand you, inside. I mean, you see, you see it right there. I mean, that's a foul. They just missed it. If you have your hand inside and around the, the back of the player, yeah, I, I, just, I, I don't get I think that's usually a foul. Big free throws. Carver hits the first and ties it up. Coon Rapids by one with 2.15 remaining. 24 points in the game for Ellie Carver. White hands off to Deemer. Now Garcia with it at the top. of Cole underneath, White scores. Great feed. And White does a nice job of getting, getting behind the defense and nice assist to find her. Just an all around nice, yep. nicely designed play. Yep. Carver to Caitlin Ackerman. Carver, top of the key. Courtney, left side for Brooklyn Dixon, down to 90 seconds remaining. Dixon looking for room baseline, nobody there. Needs help, gets it to Courtney. Carver in the high post, Destiny Artis. Dixon, baseline jumper, won't go. Rebound tipped, controlled by Deemer. Long pass, gets through to White. And a timeout and over with 109 on the clock. Yeah, one point lead for the Huskies. And, and, and again, Coach Belcher want to, wants to talk to his squad. They've got the basketball. They have the one point lead. They want to make sure they design something to see if they can get a, a nice look. Coaching staff uh, talking about it first before Coach goes and talks to his squad. Tommy G, class of 73, spinning the hits. And it pumps up the eye of the tiger from Survivor. Can't say spinning the vinyl, which would be cool. I would think that would be the coolest, but he's, uh, he's spinning the iPhone. There he is, Tommy G. What movie? Rock, uh, this is Rocky. Which one? You have uh, to be specific. Uh, is it Rocky 2? Fail. I, I think I've only seen one Rocky, to be honest with you. Was it Rocky 1? The original? It wasn't the original. I know that. I knew it was from Rocky. I just don't know which one. Rocky 3. 11. Rocky 11. Rocky 3, which included who as the main antagonist? I don't think I've, I don't th I don't think I've seen it. I'm so disappointed. I'm sorry. You. Mr. T oh, is Clubber Lang. I pity the fool that didn't see Rocky III. I do too. Hulk Hogan was in it. It's Thunderlips. It's fantastic cinema. But we've got a fantastic basketball game. One point lead for Andover. They've got the ball under a minute to go. Garcia tracked out near midcourt. Big steal by Brooklyn Dixon right there. And, and just she did a great job of not get, creating any contact, which I think was so good. Courtney backs away from Cole, spins to the lane, kicks it out. Artis for three, she wow. nailed it. Wow, what a nice clutch shot. That was pressure by Destiny Artis, and, and she didn't hesitate. She stopped, fired, and dropped it. Cardinals have had some open looks from beyond the arc in the second half, had not gotten a single one wow. to fall. And that one couldn't have come at a bigger time. Destiny Artis dropping it and putting the Cardinals up by two. 32.3 seconds remaining. That's her first points of the contest. And it couldn't come at a better time. Okay, name this movie. <laughs> Danger Zone, Kenny Loggins. 
Is this, um, is this, um, this a minute? Play in the hits. <laughs> Movie soundtrack <laughs> trivia. Apparently I'm not very good at it, so. You don't want me on your movie trivia team. We know that. Just Top Gun. Yes. There you go. I got it. Did I pulled someone, it out. Did someone give him the? No. Nobody. Nobody told me. I was gonna start giving you hints. Too. You didn't have to. I actually knew what movie for. I just couldn't. I just couldn't think of the name. Very dramatic. Yeah. Movie, but uh, not as dramatic as the ball game we've got here. No. This is uh, this is a heck of a ball game. Andover has an opportunity here with the ball, 32 seconds, trailing by two. Garcia will work against Caitlin Ackerman into the front court. Ball tipped, poked. Deemer up top. Garcia with it. High post, back out, White for three. This is in and out. Carver tracks down the rebound. Artis with it, and she'll get fouled. Twelve seconds remaining, and an opportunity for Destiny Artis to put some ice on it at the free throw line. You hear a pin drop out. Gets the roll. It's a three point lead. And timeout. Well, if, uh, if your three point shooting is going to help you, this is for Andover. This is the spot you're going to need it in. Well, they, they tried again. I, I was a little surprised, but, you know, white hot hand from outside the arc. I, I don't, you know, it's certainly a, not, a, not a terrible time to, to pull the trigger, but they did have five three pointers in the second half. Now, I do know what uh, song this movie is from because it's, it's my era. And it's the title track that helps. Animal House, right? 10.3. <laughs> this is not the way the Cardinals wanted this game no, to go. They no. wanted, they were they would have much rather had uh, the ability to coast down the past last few minutes and uh, had some uh, got some more time for some deeper bench players but the hey. way they did the first time these two teams met Andover's got to feel pretty good a team that, that they lost to by 22 the first time right and they have uh, really been in in kind of a back and forth battle all game long Garcia working against Caitlin Ackerman. Holy cow. That was a body check. Big block by Courtney Ackerman. Carver recovers. And the Cardinals hold on for the 49-46 win. Yeah, nice win for the Cardinals. Tough loss for the Huskies because they, they had the opportunity to pull this one out. But, uh, you know, give give credit to Destiny Iris for hitting that big three. Well, and, and talk about, you You talk about you want defense to come up big. There's a body check right there that yep. probably should have, could have, would have been called. But a big block right there by Courtney Ackerman. Uh, you had the steal from Brooklyn Dixon. Uh, in those last couple of minutes that was absolutely huge. So, you know, they, the Cardinals did what they needed to do in order to get the win at the end. Not, they did. Not quite as dominant as they wanted it to be, but uh, they will definitely take the win. We'll take a break. We'll be back to uh, get some post-game reaction right after this. Fancy Pants Peanut Butter? A big screen television. You haven't even bought a sofa yet. A motorcycle? When your father finds out, he's gonna flip his shoes with two buckles. What do you even need two buckles?
rules for Mr. Big Shot, buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. Feed the pig. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center can help you recycle all of your old appliances and electronics. From your old refrigerator to washers and dryers, we can help you recycle your appliances and keep them out of the waste stream, which is required by state law. When it comes to electronics, some fees may apply. Check our website for more details. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center, helping you recycle even more. Welcome back to Coon Rapids High School, where you've been watching CTN's live presentation of girls' high school basketball. A 49-46 nail-biter pulled out by Coon Rapids. I'm here with uh, one of the stars of the game, Destiny Harris, and of course, Coach Peterson. Destiny, I'm gonna talk to you first. Congratulations, a big three to put you guys up. What were you thinking at the, after you hit that shot? Well, let's ask you this. What were you thinking before you should hit that shot and then afterwards? I just knew we needed those points to put us ahead, and I just did it for my team, really. Big free throw there to, to really solidify things for you guys. Nice job there at the line. You know, talk about the defense that you guys played. I thought, you know, you did a nice job. Brooklyn did a nice job. And then certainly your teammate Ellie with 24 points underneath. Yeah, uh, we have like one of the best uh, defenses in the conference, so we work on that every practice, and that's kind of our key points every single game is to get on them on defense, put pressure on them. So it's one of our key things. You're, you're a game now over over 500. That's got to feel good. You've got one regular season game left before sections. You know, I, I think what uh, the mindset of the team is pretty good, and, and you'll be, you'll find out after that game who you play Wednesday night. Your thoughts on on your final game and going into the section. I'm just ready to beat Totino Grace. Let's get it. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. Congratulations. Go celebrate with your squad. You. Coach Peterson, that was a nice win. That was nice. Um, Andover did a nice job of really coming back. Uh, talk about your thoughts throughout that and then, and then you know, what, what you thought your team played, especially on the defensive end. I thought they did. They hustled, did a really nice job, opened up that lead in the, in the second half after what you had to say to them in the, you know, between the break. I thought we did a much better job in the second half, like you said, of upping our defensive intensity, which, let, which I mean, got Andover in foul trouble, and we got some easy buckets off of it. And I thought offensively we did a much better job of controlling it and utilizing our advantage inside, which was honestly the difference in the ballgame for us. Yeah, they really didn't have an answer for Ellie inside, and I thought really a nice job of, of the, her teammates getting the ball to, him, to her underneath. Yeah, once we settled down and stopped forcing stuff in the first half, I mean, second half was entirely different, and we just took control of it like we should. One game left for the regular season. You talk a little bit about your thoughts on Totino on Friday night. I mean, that'll be another fun one. I mean, get here because it's not on CTN. Got to catch it live. Well, good. Very, you know, fun game. Obviously, we're going to see you for the section playoffs. Continued good luck on, on Friday, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Now, we're going to take a quick break, wrap things up right after this from... Uh, Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt. Blue shirt. Yellow shirt. Oops. <laughs> Well, the Cardinals get the W. They would have liked a little bit easier finish, but what a second half for the home team. They come out down by eight uh, and really just take control. And, and you heard Coach Peterson talk about it. Uh, they were a little more patient. They worked their offense. And all of a sudden, they found ways to get Carver alone under, uh, open underneath behind the defense. And when you get her the ball down low uh, behind a defender, She's going to score most of the time. She was the tone setter offensively for Coon Rapids, but you know, you talk, We talked to Coach Pearson, obviously, and and the fact that the defense played so well because she wanted that defense to set the tone here tonight, and probably didn't do the job that she wanted to see in that first half, but certainly did the job in the second half. And and you saw it when it came down at the end, stops on defense won the game for him. Yeah, absolutely. A couple of big stops toward the end of uh, of the ball game, and then the huge three pointer by. 
uh, Destiny Artist to, to put him in front uh, by two. But uh, the big story, we talk about it inside and presence by, uh, by Ellie Carver throughout the second half. She had 16 of her 24 points in the second half, almost all of them uh, from inside of three feet. Uh, she was just, you know, well, again, once once they drew the defense away and they got her, snuck her behind the defense, you get the ball to her, and uh, she's uh, she's very hard to stop. Andover hit five three-pointers in that second half uh, and certainly kept it interesting all the way. The, the lead changed hands a couple of different times, uh, but the Cardinals, as you talked about, came up with a couple of big stops on defense, and then that three-pointer right there with just over 30 seconds remaining by Destiny Artis. Her first points of the game, she hadn't scored until the final 30 seconds, and she scores the last four points, the big three-pointer, to give him a, a two-point lead. And then uh, she hit the big free throws, uh, or the one one big free throw to uh, to really seal the deal for, for the Cardinals. And then a big stop on defense with uh, Courtney Ackerman getting the block at the final second. Yeah, I mean, and, and you saw it there. They're, they're ready to play Totino on Friday night. They're ready to get another win and finish uh, the season that way. And and that's a good mindset, good attitude by these young ladies and, and the fact that they feel confident in their game. And, and Coach Peterson said, you know, our, our girls have been playing real well as of late. You look at the score, only a 49-46 to 46 win after beating them by over 20 the last time. But the fact that they pulled it out maybe didn't play their best game here tonight, but they did a really nice job of pulling it out and getting the win. Well, we've talked about it for years, how it's hard to beat a team three times. Yep. And uh, most likely we will be right back here next Wednesday night to see this same matchup as uh, the prevailing theory is Cardinals will be number four seed, Andover will be number five, and we'll be right back here uh, for that opening round matchup. But we'll have the boys basketball game at Totino on Friday night, and then uh, the boys' uh, regular season finale next Friday as they host the Irondale Knights. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from the Fieldhouse, Coon Rapids 49 and Andover 46. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young saying good night.